science buildings by the nature of uh, the types of work we do at HOK are highly advanced and innovative projects. Those science buildings are often a very complex infrastructure projects. And we believe that the best way to deliver those science buildings is leveraging expertise, no matter where it comes from, from all our partners that are working together on the project. So I'd like to sit, maybe like take it into three different buckets. The first is integrating amongst the design team members. You know, we have a very robust set of engineers on a lot of our projects uh, that we're delivering these. And I'll give you an example on the Emory Health Sciences Research Building, 350,000 square feet, a huge biomedical research facility is a great example of integrating design partners into this collaboration. There was a requirement of 14 feet floor to floor height between the lab floors. On a typical science building, we like to push it to 16 feet so we can get the amount of plenum space and the natural light into the labs. But this kind of a challenge required us to work very collaboratively with our structural engineer to minimize the beam depth and then also our mechanical engineer to optimize the distribution strategy for the project. So we came up with a very innovative solution and in my opinion that wouldn't have been possible without collaborative integrated project delivery approach where we have a flat slab and we readjusted the beam so we are able to distribute adequately for the lab needs yet able to provide 10 feet ceilings in the lab given the 14 feet floor to floor height. On the construction side, we are strong believers to early integration with our construction manager through the design phase. And I think it's important for two factors. One, to get a great handle on the budgeting aspect and cost estimation aspect very early on into the project. And we do that by utilizing methods such as target value design, which is a lean construction approach uh, where you are able to allocate buckets uh, at an early phase in the project and then monitor it throughout the course of the project. But where I think it's real beneficial is getting that engagement early on with the construction manager partner and then there turn reaching out to the market and engaging the subcontractors and the trade partners and providing us impact of those changes that we may be doing in design throughout the course of design rather than milestone estimating. The other aspect of integrating with construction managers early on is constructability and sequence of uh, construction. Uh, we've often found, especially on science projects with MEP infrastructure being such a critical part, is have if we have the opportunity to bring in MEP trade partners early on in a design assist approach that helps go a long way uh, to define how the system distribution may go, how can we optimize it, or even what kind of prefab strategies we may be able to do to minimize the construction uh, coordination, sequencing, and maximize the output. The third wheel in this book is on the client side, we will, as designers and programmer planners, we will often engage with the end users to define their space requirements and needs. But a key component in these complex science facilities is integration with the robust equipment that may be moving into the facility. An example I'll give uh, from the Emory project, Emory Health Sciences Research Building again is, we had over 10 plus large imaging, imaging modalities, including a seven Tesla MRI, one of 23 in the country, that weighs 65,000 pounds. And there was months and months and months of coordination required between us, Siemens, the equipment manufacturer, and also the client end user and the lab technician that was going to use the space regarding how the magnet would be brought into the building, where it would be located, what is the interface on the human subject side and, and any animal subject side, where are the viewing windows, the RF filter panel. There was one of 23 different pieces of equipment that we had to coordinate on that particular project. So in my mind, it is extremely important to having that discussion and the ability to connect with the uh, end users and their equipment manufacturer to deliver a successful project. At the end, again, science buildings are very complex infrastructure projects. We just can't deliver it as a design team. We appreciate and would love to leverage any expertise that we can bring to the table from the design engineers, from construction manager and the client end user base and equipment manufacturers as well.